Do you take the LRT or bus and want to chill with your favorite playlist on Spotify, but all you hear is this? Wanna play Mobile Legends but your legendary neighbor renovate his house 69 years ago not yet done? How? In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know when shopping for a pair of true wireless earbuds with noise cancellation. Your mother no teach? Never mind. I teach you lah. This Edifier TWS1 Pro 2 was sent over by Edifier for demonstration purposes. All knowledge bombs that I will be dropping in this video is still relevant no matter what product you decide to get. But if you do find this video to be helpful, feel free to click click boom the links in the description to pick one up for yourself. I will be doing a mini review at the end of this video so stay tuned. But I must say, for the money, they are pretty good. Before we talk about noise cancellation, have you ever asked yourself, what is noise actually? Noise is basically a mix of different sounds. If you don't want to hear it, or if it catch out you from listening to your music, then it's noise law. A noise is made of sound waves that consist of peaks and troughs. These sound waves have a few characteristics that will affect how easily they are to cancel out. Uh, number one, you have the frequency or pitch, which is how high or low is the sound, measured by number of sound waves per second or in hertz. Number two, you have amplitude, which is how loud or how tall is the wave, uh, measured in decibel. Number three, you have wavelength, which is how long one complete sound wave is or cycle before it repeats. And finally, you have velocity, which is how fast it travels. What is noise cancellation then? For true wireless earbuds like our TWS1 Pro 2, we have three levels of noise cancellation. Level 1 is the passive noise cancellation that is well made possible by the plug or fit in your ear that creates a good seal without sacrificing comfort. This will dampen overall surrounding sounds. After testing out a lot of different earbud designs, I still prefer those with a removable ear tip like this so you can customize it to fit your ear better. I personally like them comply foam ear tips that I will leave links in the description for you to check out. Then comes level 2, active noise cancellation. This will deal with stationary noise that are predictable and consistent. Finally, we have the next level that deals with non-stationary noise that are unpredictable and random. This is what I call selective hearing. So you can tune out your mother when she nags you to clean your room, but still hear her when she wants to give you pocket money. That kind of thing. Unfortunately, we are not quite there yet, but with AI, hopefully in the near future, we can. Since I've already explained passive noise cancellation and we're not chunge enough for selective hearing, we're going to focus mainly on active noise cancellation. True wireless earbuds like these Edifier ones tend to have two microphones, an external microphone that listens to the noise around you and an internal microphone that listens to the noise that actually makes it into your ears. So your earbuds will take a look at the noise sound wave that enters these microphones, uh, make some calculations and produce an exactly equal and opposite anti-sound wave or anti-noise that is mixed into the audio that you're playing through your earbuds. So this anti-sound wave will cancel out the environmental noise around you, leaving you with just what you want to hear. That seems like a piece of cake, right? But it's actually very difficult because your earbuds have about 15 microseconds, which is the time it takes for a noise to move from the outside of your earbuds to the inside of your ears. Delaying this anti-noise or anti-sound wave by just mere milliseconds will render the noise cancellation ineffective. To prevent this, manufacturers like Edifier fit these earbuds with a tiny digital signal processor or DSP to make all these calculations as fast as the flash. Now, this audio or signal processing has improved gradually over the years to cater for different types of noises. But in general, active noise cancellation still works better for low frequency noises because they have fewer peaks and also troughs or wavelengths every second compared to higher frequency noises. However, However, as long as they are consistent and predictable, a decent ANC solution like the one here will be able to handle it. This means that the ANC in your earbuds will work better, say, for a rumble and hums in airplanes, trains and buses, fan noise from your PC, refrigerator, oven or washing machine noises at home, ambient noise in a cafe, wave 
noises by the beach. I don't know why you want to put on ANC earbuds by the beach, but you do you. And it will work less for crying babies, sorry, a dog barking, sorry, some uncle honking at you because you're about to walk into traffic. Seems more like an accidental safety feature, doesn't it? Pun intended. Speaking of safety, True Wireless earbuds often come with a mode that reintroduces environmental sounds to keep you more alert of your surroundings. Uh, they are sometimes called transparency, alert, or in the case of these Edifier TWS-1 Pro 2s, ambient sound mode. Also, some earbuds like these Edifier TWS-1 Pro 2 allow you to switch between ANC modes that are designed to work better for different types of noises. You can either double tap the left earbud in this case or use the Edifier Connect app. If you're talkative like Elaine, there's also noise cancellation for calls that will remove environmental noise uh, from what your microphone picks up so that the person that you're talking to will hear you more clearly. Of course, this is a no-brainer, but TWS earbuds with good ANC is completely useless if they sound horrible, right? So here's a quick review of the Edifier TWS One Pro 2's audio quality. I think that they are very fun with a V-shaped sound signature. The bass has quite a bit of oomph and extension with just a tiny bit of mid bass bleeding. The mids are clear with present and airy vocals which I like. The treble is also quite detailed without being fatiguing. A very versatile sound, not the most resolved but great for the price. You can enjoy everything from tank from Cowboy Bebop to Metallica to Billie Eilish or Jacob Collier. Good stuff! Again, check them out in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself because they are very hashtag cheap by just 199 ringgit. That is everything I have to say about true wireless earbuds with noise cancellation. In my opinion, while wired in-ear monitors might offer slightly better audio quality at the same price, the active noise cancellation in these earbuds will make music audible where a good seal is simply not enough. They offer quite a bit more convenience, especially due to their wireless nature that allows you to use all your limbs freely without fear of snagging a cable or two. Um, been there, done that. So yeah, maybe just snack one up and chuck it into your bag or your pocket the next time you go out. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like and share. If you have any questions regarding TWS earbuds with noise cancellation, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to reply to each and every one of you. Again, the name is Shane. Bang Sawan Shane. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell harder than the bass hits in your favorite song. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs>